All right, so now that we've built a landing page, we've created everything, we created a, you know, a landing page that we know that is going to convert well based on our experience, right? The next we wanna do is to connect our domain name to this lead pages landing page so we can have a landing page with a domain name. We're not using anything that leadpages.com wanna be serious, this is a serious business that we're trying to build here. Okay, as you can see right here, this is a landing page that I created on lead pages, crochetgenius.com forward slash e-course. You, you come here, you don't have any doubts whatsoever. So now I'm going to log into my Namecheap account. I have a bunch of domain names I already uh, purchased in the past, and we're just going to try to use one of them to, uh, you know, to connect our landing page. So for the landing page um, thing that I have, I... I have the, the plan that allows me to connect multiple landing pages. This is about $99 a month, okay? So this is not cheap at all, but you can get started with the one that allows you to pay, I think, $49 a month, but you can also use it for free for the first 14 days. I'll leave a link to it in the description. So now you wanna go to where it says domains. Uh, you can see right here, I have my domain already connected. I'm going to delete this. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so I have Crochet Genius connected. Now I'm gonna try to connect another domain. Now, which domain should I use? Let me come to Namecheap. I have a lot of them. I have a lot of them. So I'm going to do, this is for a different e-commerce brand that I was trying to build uh, a long, long time ago. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to delete the hair record and I'm going to delete everything here. So we're starting from scratch. All right, so what you wanna do is come here. I will enter my domain name, so let covers. So you go to Namecheap, you go to domains, then you enter the domain name that you're trying to connect. It's gonna ask you, does any content currently exist at this domain? I'm gonna say no to next. Now, it recognizes that my, that my domain name is hosted on Namecheap. So it's given me step-by-step step how I'm going to connect it using Namecheap. So it says that you navigate to your domain list, you go to DNS record, advanced DNS, which I've already done. So next thing I wanna do is to add a new record right here. It's saying add a new record. So I'm gonna click on that, add a new record, boom. So what I wanna do is to add an A record. So I'm gonna select an A record and you're going to use the at sign. The at is where you is what you put put in the host field. And on the next step, you say you have to input your IP address. So I'm gonna copy the IP address. I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna paste the IP address and I'm gonna hit save. Now that is done. So you wanna do next again. So it's asking you, would you like to redirect your www traffic to the domain you're connecting? So if people type in www.whateverwhatever.com, it goes to the website or if they type in the website without the www. So of course I wanna do that. So I'm gonna say redirect my domain. So for this step, what you need to do is create a new record again. So you type in add new record. So what you wanna create now is a C name record, a C name record. So you click on that. For, for the host field, you wanna type in www. So www, so for the target, you copy the, the URL and you paste that into the target field and you hit save. And honestly, that's everything. That's how you connect your domain name with lead pages, with Namecheap, of course. And it's almost the same with anywhere, GoDaddy, Google Domains, anywhere. So it's gonna take a while. It takes about 20 minutes or 30 minutes for this to connect. And once you do that, you realize that you can't, once you come back to your landing pages, the next thing you wanna do is to publish a landing page, right? You wanna publish a landing page. This is a landing page that we've been working on. I'm gonna click on that. And I'm gonna to try to hit publish, but I'm not gonna be able to do that now because my, land, my domain name is not connected yet. So once I hit publish, that domain name is not there yet. But once, it, once the domain name gets approved, it's gonna come in here as one of the domains here. So here I'm just going to choose the ones that I have, which is crochetgenius.com. And for the slug, which is what happens after the forward slash, I'm just going to do test page. So now we have crochetgenius.com forward slash test page. I'm gonna publish that domain and we'll be able to link to this page using that URL. So I'm gonna copy that link and once we test it, boom, the landing page is live. Live as can be. Transform your crochet skill in only five days with a free masterclass email course. Sign up now and discover the secrets to unlocking your potential. Now, 
they sign up here they put in their names where does it go okay where does it go that's why you always want to have a thank you page now a thank you page is not hard to create you can use one of the generic landing i mean thank you pages again you go to landing page you create a new landing page you click on that then you can come here to page type then what you want to find is thank you and confirmation page okay so let's pick a generic one i'm just going to pick the simplest of them all let's do let's do this i'm just going to start building it's simple guys it's really easy i'm going to do test dash thank you so you name your landing page so you can identify it and you start building so here it says thanks for signing up everything we promise will be sent to your inbox shortly while you wait i'm just going to delete this we don't want that but you can add whatever it is you want on this page right here you can you know give them the confirmation you can direct them to your facebook group or whatever but the purpose of this landing page is to reaffirm that they have signed up you've received it and to tell them that i mean confirm that whatever it is they signed up for will be sent to their mailbox so yeah this is a test thank you page this is i'm not going to you know work on this too much but it's the same method as we use for the main page you can design this whatever in whatever way you want so we have crochet genius test thank you we publish that so what you want to do is to go back to the original test landing page and make sure that after people sign up they come to this page and i'm going to show you how to do that so we go back all right so once we get here what you want to do is you want to edit pop-up it, it pops up and you edit integrations you click on edit integrations and there's three sections here integrations fields and actions where you want to go is actions it says when the visitor clicks on that button when they sign up what do you want to happen what do you want them to see now the default one is it goes to the default thank you page which is not too good you know it has whatever default message on there now you want to click on landing page that's where you want to send them and as you can see right here there's this is all of the landing pages that we've built in the past but what we are looking for is the test thank you page that we've just created so you click on the test thank you and you save and you close so you update that now i'm going to test that page to see that it works all right so let's view the page this is the page that we just built i click on that i'm gonna enter my name daniel i'm gonna enter a generic email here dmoff uh, gmail.com i'm gonna click on start e-course boom right there so this is what happens when you build a landing page and everything is well connected they sign up they get to the thank you page and that's it now what happens next is that you want to have a place or a central collection system where you store the emails and you can send automation emails and that's where your email automation software comes in in the next video i'm going to talk about how to connect your email automation software like get response to your landing page and how you can sort your emails how you can collect your emails and set up autoresponders with a software like get response that's going to be in the next video in the same playlist so enjoy